Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about custom exceptions in python programming so guys in python we can define custom exceptions by creating a new class that is derived from the built in exception class so guys that we are going to check with the help of examples as well as you can see this is the syntax we have the class keyword followed by the space character and then we have the name of the exception that we want to create which is going to be the user defined exception and this is the way that we inherit another class inside the parenthesis after the user defined name we have the exception class name so guys whatever attributes and behaviors that are present inside the exception will get inherited to this custom error user defined exception over here and then we can have a statement over here inside this custom error as to why this error is being raised over here and then followed by the pass keyword and then guys we can have our own code that is the try and accept block and then inside the try block based on the conditions we can raise this custom error based on our requirements and once it is raised it will be handled by using the accept keyword over here followed by the custom error exception and then we can have the block of code in order to handle the exception so guys let us check this with the help of example now over here first of all we are going to have the user defined exception so over here let's say we have the class and the exception that we are going to have is let's say we are having the voting application and we have to check whether a particular person is having the age that is greater than 18 if the age is less than 18 and the person is not eligible to vote then we are going to call this particular exception that we are going to define so we are going to simply name the exception as the age error over here so we have age error and then it should inherit the exception class so over here we are going to say exception and then followed by colon and then we can simply say raised when person age is less than 18 so if the person age is less than 18 he or she is not eligible to vote and this is the exception that is going to be raised so over here we are going to have the pass statement and now guys what we will do is we will have our lines of code over here inside the try block so over here we will ask the user in order to enter the age so over here we will have age variable it is equal to we are going to take the input from the user and it says enter age and then we have colon and then what we will do is we will check if this age is less than 18 so we will simply say if age is less than 18 followed by colon if the entered age is less than 18 we have to raise this age error exception so i'll just copy this and paste this over here first of all we have to use the raise keyword followed by the age error over here so basically if age is less than 18 then we have to raise the age error and then what we can do is we can catch that error over here inside the accept block so accept block followed by the age error over here and then we have the colon and then we can simply say print and over here person is not eligible to vote so guys this is a statement that is going to be printed when the age is less than 18 but what if the age is not less than 18 and if it is greater than 18 so the person is eligible to vote so what we will do is we can have the else part over here which will get executed when this exception is not occurring inside the try block so over here we can simply provide the print statement and we will say person is eligible to vote now guys this statement we can also have inside the try block as well we can also have after this if statement we can have the else part and the same print statement over here so it depends on you how you want to structure your code this is another way in order to provide the else part and this will be executed only when there is no exception that is occurring inside the try block and then optionally you can also have the finally block as well which will help you to execute certain lines of code irrespective whether the exception has occurred inside the try block or not so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code now so it says enter age so let's say we provide the age as 23 over here and then when we press enter it says less than not supported between instances of str and int so guys by default whenever we take any input from the user it takes the input as the string so basically this age data type is string right now we want to convert it to the integer so we can simply convert this string into integer over here we can provide the int and inside the parenthesis we can take the entire input over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code once again we will provide the age as 23 and when we press enter 
it says person is eligible to vote so basically what we have done over here is we have converted the string data type to the integer data type by enclosing this entire input by the end and now let us run this code once again now so that we can catch this exception when the age is less than 18 so guys let's say when the age is 17 over here in which case the age is less than 18 right now when we press enter it says person is not eligible to vote so what has happened over here is since the age was less than 18 the raise age error has helped us in order to throw this exception that is the age error and what has happened is the control flow has come over here to this accept block and it printed this line of code that is person is not eligible to vote so that is the same string that is getting printed over here person is not eligible to vote and previously it was printing this statement that is person is eligible to vote when the age was greater than or equal to 18 now guys when the age is 18 again the person will be eligible to vote that's because the condition that we have given over here in order to raise the error is age less than 18 so let us check that once again over here when we run this code once again when we say 18 as the age it says person is eligible to vote so the person will be not eligible to vote only when the age is less than 18 and not equal to 18 so guys this is the way that we can create our own user defined custom exception over here and call that exception by using the raise keyword inside the try block and catch that exception using the accept block over here and handle it accordingly based on our requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is object oriented programming in python that is we are going to check the classes and objects so stay tuned